I get too old for this, huh? I supposed to get day off, and now what? 3.30 afternoon on a Saturday? Huh? I got to play Boston? I should be fishing! Hey, Spencer, you play! Spencer's not here anymore. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Hey, is the other... Hey, Stola, you, you drunk again? You're drunk. He's not even speaking. Shit. I gotta play. I oh, dang it. What? Panther fans, so I'm going to say something that uh, most of you won't believe that I normally don't say. I don't want to win this game. I have no interest in winning this game. Apparently, we're going to probably try to win this game because Bob's in net, so there's that. Now, why do I not want to win this game? Um, because I want nothing to do with Tampa. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to say it in a way that doesn't sound like I want Toronto. It's not about wanting Toronto. It's about, I don't, I've said this multiple times recently. I don't see the, I don't, I don't see the win for us in busting our ass to catch Boston, get first place to have the reward be playing a hot Tampa team with Vasilevsky finding his stride. I just, I just don't see where the benefit is in that when you add in, you know, the fact that, you know, if Boston and Florida go at it, banging heads, somebody's going to get hurt most likely. So I just, I wish they would have just like rested everybody, call up the entire checkers team, take second play and just be done with it. Let's move on to the games that count. But, uh, or, or if we could somehow win this game without, you know, expending too much energy and taking injuries and all that, I'm ready for the playoffs. And you are too. This has been the weirdest um, last 15, 20 games to a season that I think we've ever had as Panther fans because we're just kind of sitting here just watching and looking and just like looking at the calendar and just like, is it is it done yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet, Grandma? No, we're not there yet because we got to keep playing the full 82. So the point is, is that should we get our asses handed to us and we look terrible, I'm not, you're not going to get any complaints out of me. The only complaint you're going to get out of me is, it's Saturday afternoon at 3.30, so we'll do that. Um, now, I think Lorenz is out because he's sick. Bob is in net. Um, everybody else is is basically going to be the same way it was in the last game. It was It's Ottawa, okay? It was Ottawa. I mean, we look good. We look better than we had. But let's be honest. Ottawa, I mean, they, what they did the other night is the definition of laying down, which is what I want to see the Panthers do today. It's just lay down, don't fight for any pucks, don't block any shots. I don't want to see Bob doing any splits. The only reason for any fights today is if somebody runs into Bob, all right? Other than that, I don't want to see Chucky hitting anybody. I don't want to see anybody on defense hitting anybody too hard, giving Boston players a reason to come taking a run at us. All right, and or or the option could be. I wonder if Boston wants first place. I assume that they do. I would, have, but then again, if you're Boston, who would you rather play, Tampa or Toronto? I have a feeling I know the answer to that question. So but this may be a game that nobody wants. <laughs> this this might be a game where uh, nobody wants. And in that case, let's just play running gun with no defense. Eight to five, somebody wins. Don't care. I'm ready for April 20th or whatever day it is that the, the, the playoffs are going to start. That said, um, I'll find something to complain about. Don't worry. Two points. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one after 1. This is going exactly to plan so far, minus the penalties. So the, the I did not even get my ass in this seat yet. Um... When the puck just bounces off the boards and right on the Kachuk stick, and he makes it one nothing, and then a little bit later on, uh, Boston evens it up at one one. Now you might look at that goal and think, ah, uh, you know, it was not a great goal. Maybe Bob should have had it, etc. But that's not what I saw. What I saw was exactly what I wanted to see, which is Sam Reinhardt was in position to block the shot. 
and then he turned and moved to get out of the way so he did not block the shot. So I have no problem whatsoever with that goal. Uh, the rest of this game so far, it just kind of looks like, I wouldn't say it's preseason hockey, but clearly neither one of these teams is coming out here um, with a vengeance or anything like that, trying to, you know, bust each other's ass to win this game. So we're just having fun on a Saturday afternoon. That's what we're left with. I do have a feeling Boston's going to win this game simply because I've been watching the Panthers for the last two or three weeks, and when we don't play well, it gets bad. And usually the first period um, has been our best period unless we're trying to make a massive comeback. If we play, if the Panthers play our normal second period, they're probably going to get a little ugly here. Let's move on and see how it goes. All right, so it's 2-1 Boston after two. Was not a bad period of play. It's getting really ridiculous with the penalties, um, both the penalties that should be called, and then some of the stuff, I mean, like that hit against Kachuk or the hit on Kachuk. Um, it's, and then they even talked about it on the broadcast. It's like either let them play or call it tight. But the refs have been just kind of picking and choosing when they're just going to let anything go and then when they're going to call it, you know, exactly by the rule book. So, but the Panthers have had their own power plays. We just can't score. We are just sleepwalking. I mean, we don't look terrible. We're keeping it respectable. But I don't see anything. On the ice here, that makes me think Panthers are going to even want to come back and win this game. The only chance we've had, the only goal we got is the one that the puck just bounced off the boards like a rubber ball. And uh, that's okay. Get off the ice, get healthy, let Boston have first place. And that will give Maurice an excuse. I would love to see this be Bob's last game and then Stolarz plays the last four. I, I would just love to see him be able to get that rest. Let's so move on to third and finish this up. We are going to overtime. All right. Boston gets it 3 2 in overtime. That's okay. That's okay. A game worked out about as well as it could for a game I did not want to win, really. I wanted to win, but, you know. It, let Boston have first place. Let them play Tampa. Even P.K. Subban was on the ABC during the broadcast and the intermissions. And even he was saying the Panthers don't want to play Tampa. Nobody wants to play Tampa right now. Unless you're the Penguins who beat Tampa today 5-4. to four. But Tampa's ready to rock and roll. And so the, the crazy thing is, is that if you look at the two, you know, the, the divisions... The Rangers and the Canes are going to get to play two not-so-really-good teams. And Boston and Florida are going to have to play teams that could win a cup. So good luck to whoever comes out of the Atlantic. You're going to need it. Now, what we see on the ice today, what I saw in that game was... Here, I, here's how I can explain it. Nobody was... They were both playing at about 85-90%, right? Nobody was going crazy. Nobody was really getting overly physical. The intensity was nice, but not like a playoff game. And it ended up being 2-2 going into overtime. I think had both teams been beating the crap out of each other the entire game, the result would have been 2-2 going into overtime. And if the Panthers play the Bruins in the playoffs, if we get that far in the second round, I suspect you'll be looking at another seven games and going into overtime in Game 7 to see who's going to win because it's very, very evenly matched when you take into consideration the goaltending and, and everything else. So no big surprise there. I'm not worried that we lost them a couple times in overtime this year because playoff overtime is 5-on-5. Five five. So um, I suspect that it would just be a lot of ties. We could end up with another four overtime game if we get that far. What I'm happy about is... From It appears as though we got out healthy. I'm sure Boston's happy with the same thing. Now, I absolutely 150 million gazillion trillion percent demand. I don't ask. I mean, this is not a request. I demand that Bobrovsky get the rest of the year off and Stolarz play the last four games. This is not a request, Paul. I is not. Okay? Just, that's it. He looked good out there today. Right? But... 
Anybody who's been watching Bob play the entire season knows, give him a week. Give him a week off. It would be the smartest thing you've ever done, Paul. Please. I'm begging you, begging you, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please. Um, and then maybe start putting some of the other guys on the bench, which I know he probably won't. But why not give Sam Iskevich a few games here, sort of a few games here. Second place is not locked up. We're not guaranteed. But we ain't catching Boston, okay? And most likely, with the Leafs in their schedule, it's, it's looking like it's going to be the four that are there right now. The Lightning are, like, basically one game away from clinching the number one wild card. So everybody just rest. I'm not going to be in any way, shape, or form negative after this game because like i said again even the guys in the broadcast booth are like yeah yeah they're it's they're playing hard yeah okay wink wink you know so it makes it hard this is a weird place panther fans to be in last year at this point we were still begging and pleading and chasing that that playoff spot um so nobody likes to sit down and watch their team lose i get that but the longer that this has gone on, when you, again, when you take into context the um, comments that Paul Maurice has made, this is going exactly as they planned, in my opinion. I, and if you notice, if you notice, by the way, um, the Panthers immediately fell off the cliff, maybe jumped off the cliff, as soon as they had the President's Trophy in their sight. And remember, we had a couple, we had like a game in hand with points ahead in the President's Trophy. And the team said, no, no thanks. You guys, no thank you. We don't want it. We're not interested. And so I'm totally fine with how this is going. Um, it's been a little bit concerning. Some of the bad play before these last couple games, at least we're not really making the terrible, terrible, terrible mistakes that we were making during that stretch. And, uh... The last thing I'll say is that if we do end up playing Toronto, again, I do feel like that's a better matchup for us right now the way we are playing because you can be damn sure that game one, first drop of that first puck against the Lightning, they are going to be physical as hell. And with all respect to the Leafs, they're not, the Leafs are not the Lightning. You see what I'm saying? Lightning know how to win cups. They're going to be fired up and locked and loaded, and so will Toronto. But I do feel like if the Panthers need a game or two to really get into gear, um, that might look more like one-to-one -one series with Toronto, where it would probably be two games to nothing Tampa if we did not hit things just like really, really ready to go. I Tampa, Boston, I think Tampa's going to win that series, to be honest with you. If I had to make that pick right now... Um, I think the little bit of youth there that Boston has down the middle, um, I just I just feel like Tampa is is going to be locked and loaded and ready to go with that series. Could work a different way, but you know Vasilevsky in the playoffs is still kind of like Brady. Tom Brady was just like you're not going to bet against them until until you really see the. Um, the Demon gets slayed, and I know they lost last year to Toronto, but this is a different team, different group. So I'm excited to get everything coming here. We're going to have series previews for the playoffs. We're going to have a lot of different content. I'm basically not going to sleep for however long it takes, and if the Panthers are eliminated at some point, Kyle and I will still cover at least two of the series that are going on. And if we can at all, we're going to try to cover maybe some West Coast Games. I don't think we're going to be able to cover an entire series, but I am going to try to venture over to the Western Conference a little bit, especially if um, Rangers and Canes, those series, they could be short series. You know what I mean? The, the, those, <laughs> whoever the Rangers are going to play, whoever the Canes are going to play, good night and good, good night and good morning. You know what I mean? Good luck to you. Um, so those could be some shorter series, so maybe we'll have a minute to hop over to a Western Conference game. Other than that, thank you all for coming out to the stream. We have like 170, 175 people at some point. Really appreciate that. Um, we're all just ready. We're all just ready because it's it's basically a broken record at this point with the way that the Panther games are going and, and everything like that. We're just all just kind of rest. We're ready. They need to get rested. You get one point. 
And that's it, Paul. I don't want to see Bubba again.